happy hump day. So this week I'm exploring what would happen if an alien landed and said to you, take me to your leader. And you look puzzled because you're like, well, where am I going to take the alien? And the alien says, well, take me to someone who remotely resembles a leader. And your continued perplexment, if that's a word, leads the alien to say, this is what it looks like. So yesterday I talked about leadership built on trust. And on Monday I talked about um, leaders carrying a telescope and a microscope. And today I wanted to talk about leaders leading with ferocious resolve. And some of you may know, I've heard of that before, and it comes out of um, Jim Collins' 2001 book, Good to Great. And Jim and his researchers spent many, many years looking at organisations that had gone from good, being OK, to great and you know, exceeding all expectations. And he said that these organisations had level five leadership and level five leadership was um, humility, personal humility but also passionate drive. And he described that drive as ferocious resolve, almost sto stoic determination to do the right thing, um, whatever needed to be done to make the company great. And I want to read a, an extract from Jim's book, Good to Great. Uh, level five leaders display a powerful mixture of personal humility an indomitable will. They're incredibly ambitious, but their ambition is first and foremost for the cause, for the organisation and its purpose, not themselves. While level five leaders can come in many personality packages, they're often self-efficacing, quiet, reserved and even shy. Every good to great transition in our research began with a level five leader who motivated the enterprise more with inspired standards than inspiring personality. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.